Welcome to the Lab Preschool Online Experience. My name is Holly and I'm so excited you joined us today. Guess what? I got this super cool Lego set from the store. I saved up all my money for weeks so I could buy it and I waited until you guys got here to open it. It's a giant castle set with big walls and guards and everything. Oh, I'm so excited. Should we open it up together? Okay, here we go. Oh man, that was way harder than I realized. Building that castle felt impossible. I mean, how do people do this? Well, while I keep working on my castle, why don't you guys go practice our memory verse for this month together? Hi friends, I'm Miss Sarah. You know what time it is. It is memory verse time. And this month, our memory verse comes from the book of Psalms. 73 verse 26 and it says God you give strength to my heart Psalm 73 verse 26 can we do that again oh yeah we can are you ready let's go God you give strength to my heart Psalm 73 verse 26 great job friends remember you are wonderful Good practicing, friends. As you can see, I didn't make much progress on that castle at all. Those walls are way too complicated. I think whoever created that Lego set purposely made it impossible. Well, while I go clean it up, why don't you guys go check out our Bible story today? I'll see you back here real soon. Stories of the Bible. The Walls of Jericho. This is Joshua. Oh, hey. Joshua was the leader of the Israelites, who God used to bring his people to the promised land. Yeah, let's do this. When God told Joshua it was time to take the promised land, Joshua sent spies into the city of Jericho. While those spies were in Jericho, Come on. they were protected by a woman named Rahab. The spies promised to spare Rahab and her family when they took back the land. Yay! And she hung a scarlet cord from her window to remind them of their promise. See you soon! Hey! Hello! One day, Joshua looked up, huh? and there was a man standing before him. Hello! The man said, I am the commander of the army of the Lord. Joshua asked what the man wanted to tell him, and the Lord said he wanted Joshua to take the city of Jericho, All right. but that Joshua needed to follow his instructions exactly. You got it. Now Jericho was shut for fear of the Israelites. Yeah, well, huh? yeah, well. No one came out and no one came in. So the Lord told Joshua to gather his soldiers and march around the city for six days. The priests were to take the Ark of the Covenant and seven priests were to go in front of it, blowing a ram's horn. On the seventh day, they were to march around the city seven times and blow the horn. Then all the people of Israel were to give a great shout and then the city walls would fall. Wow. Yeah, let's do it. So Joshua said, Shout for the Lord has given you the city. And the people did shout. Yeah. And the walls did fall. Let's go. The Israelites overtook the city of Jericho as God had commanded. They remembered Rahab because of her faithfulness. Now Joshua was faithful in carrying out God's commands. 
and the Israelites took many other cities as God told them they would, for God will never fail to fulfill His promises. So the Israelites came to live in the land that God had promised their fathers Abraham, Isaac, Israel, Joseph, and Moses many years ago. Whoa, did you guys see that? That story was amazing. The Israelites were on their way to the special land God had promised them. But before they could get there, they had to get past the huge city of Jericho. Jericho was massive and they had really tall walls that were super strong. I mean, I thought building my Lego set felt kind of impossible and it had big walls. But imagine trying to defeat a real castle with huge walls, fancy armor, dangerous weapons, a big army. Oh, now that actually sounds impossible. And the Israelites probably thought so too. But they had something Jericho didn't. Do you guys know what it was? God! Beating Jericho looked impossible on their own, but the Israelites had God. And nothing is impossible for God. God can do impossible things. And that's our big idea today. Why don't we say it all together? God can help us do impossible things. Oh, good job. So the next time that you're facing something that feels impossible, maybe it's listening to your parents even when you don't want to, or cleaning up a really big mess like I kind of made with my Lego set, we can talk to God and ask him to help us because nothing is impossible for God and he loves to help us do impossible things. Why don't we pray and thank God for that right now together. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you that you can help us do things that feel so, so impossible. Whether it's telling our friends about you or building a really big Lego set, God, you can help us and you've put people in our life to help us too. Thank you so much. We love you in Jesus' name, amen. Well, friends, thank you for hanging out with us today. We just love spending time with you and we can't wait to see you back here next week for a brand new theme. We'll see you then. Bye.